Hey everyone, welcome to Primal Reef and Acrylics and another update on my 75 gallon saltwater reef tank. Today's topic is going to be on Garlic Extreme, made by Kent Marine. This is a more of a 100% extract of garlic. I'm going to be talking about the benefits, disadvantages and what Garlic Extreme can, can do for your invertebrates, fishes and your system. Um, Going ahead, I've been using garlic ever since I've purchased my entire tank system. I think it's about a year, two years now. Very great product to have, always as a backup. You can definitely get more of a diluted system. Uh, they do sell bigger bottles of more of, a, I think, a 40% garlic and a 60% mixture of water and other nutrients to entice your fish to eat. But I like to stick with the Kent Marine uh, more of a hundred percent extract a reason for this is because um, when you have that garlic that you in a more diluted format you tend to put more garlic in your system and it doesn't tend to over ex over absorb all the the garlic into the food as it needs to so in that sense this bottle here it's I bought it from Big Al's Aquarium they're twenty dollars they're not much well my new friend there at the back as you can see my purple tank purple tang sorry um, he's been doing great but anyways the um, reason for that is because um, I have my garlic out uh, the advantage of garlic everybody it's reason why I said you should always have one is because when you start getting new fish in your system in the beginning it's okay because you know what that one or two three four fishes in your the system they're already doing good because there's no competition for where they sleep where they hide so they can go and sleep and hide wherever they want so there's no stress involved usually the first first two to three fishes tend to do okay in your system after that you get a, a whole abundance of stress level ick and many other problems and fighting and territorial fights that uh, these fishes go through that tend to lead um, to an unhappy fish an unhappy fish equals ick and when you have ick equals death to maybe one or all the fishes in your system um, that's why they say quarantine your fish quarantine is mainly for taking away eliminating all the disease that your fish might have from the local fish store that you bought it from or if you're importing a fish again it's the same thing so the way the garlic extreme works depending on how much fish and how much food you feed your fish you can actually put garlic into a cube of mace mycy shrimp it could be zooplex it could be a nori sheet of seaweed for your tangs and other anything that eats nori the way you want to work this system is when you have a frozen cube you wanna first dissolve all the ice off the food in a little bit of aquarium water now you can add it into a little cup it doesn't have to be specific now once all the food has been unfrozen for about 10-15 minutes rinse it out because nobody does that guys you wanna rinse out all the food because when the manufacturers pack food there are a lot of other debris and excessive food that are not big enough to feed the fishes so what happens is that tends to settle in between rocks and sand some of the corals might be benefited off it but overall most of the time I know it sits in rocks and just collects and then guess what now you start having a, a new dilemma for green hair algae, red slime algae and all the other nasty algae out there that we really don't want in our system. So get that out of there. Rinse it out and then take away all the water from that little cup of food that you have and leave maybe 2-3% of water in there. And with that 2-3% you want to add maybe one or two drops of Kent Garlic Extreme. You don't want to add more than that because remember this is 100% extract of garlic. One or two drops, let it sit for 15-20 minutes. Make sure that nori seaweed absorbs all that, all that uh, garlic and even the mice shrimp or whatever you feed it. Once it sits there then you're okay to go ahead and add a little bit more aquarium water to that cup and 
slowly feed your fishes. Now the key is, a lot of times we feed the fishes that uh, we kind of dump the entire, uh, entire cup into the water. You don't want to do that the way I feed right now because I don't have too many fishes in my system. I got the tang, I got the maroon clownfish, I have five chromi, chromis at the back. Lawnmower, blenny, a couple shrimps. I don't feed too much. Out of the cube that you get to feed the, my, the all the micey shrimp, I even cut my cube in half. So eliminate everything off it, cut the cube in half, and limit the food that you put. I feed my fishes pretty much one cube, I will feed them in increments of maybe a half an hour. Now, that's if you have time. A lot of people don't have time for that. They just kind of dump it in there. And when you dump it in there, yeah, they will get majority of the food. But overall, what tends to happen is that most of the food will settle in between the rocks. And you don't get too much... <clears throat> uh, the fish don't get too much of the fish. So, again, feed only enough for... The fish is to consume whatever is drifting in the water. Anything more than that, it's going to settle to the floor. And then again, don't complain if you have green hair algae growing all over your system. <clears throat> uh, by the way, I just love the side view. It's just awesome. But uh, yeah, so that's that's the well, that's well, why you want to use garlic extreme. Uh, entice your fish to eat. Although some people may claim... I've done a lot of research on this and again, by scientists and laboratories, many people, uh, those scientists have not proven that ick, uh, sorry, garlic will solve the problem of ick. So don't go ahead and think uh, your fishes will cure from ick if you start feeding it garlic. It's a 50-50 chance guys, I would say, you know what, go ahead and feed them because you know what. We don't know what's happening in the fish's body. If you see um, a small elimination of ick because you've been dosing garlic into your food, then by all means, go ahead and use it. I do it. So, better safe than sorry. That's why everybody has a quarantine tank. When you have a quarantine tank, all the guys, when they feed their fishes, it's always garlic. Because garlic has known to cure certain diseases in animals and even us humans. They say when you get sick, eat a little bit of garlic or ginger. It opens up your sinuses and everything. So anyways, getting back to this fish system, feed your fish with garlic. Now one of the disadvantages to garlic, especially the diluted form, is that they recommend in the instruction you feed, you put a capful of garlic into the little cup of water that you have. The problem with that, guys, when you start feeding garlic on a daily basis... What happens is you're now incre increasing the bio load in your system. You don't want to do that. You want to control what goes in your system and how much of it you put in there. So that's why I use the more concentrated format of the Kent Marine, the more of 100% garlic e extract. I can control how much garlic I put in there. The way I use garlic is every single time I add a new fish to the system, that day or the day after, I start feeding my tank. Um, no matter what fishes I get in the food, I'm going to start putting garlic. I do a continuation of maybe four to five days of garlic. And then I stop it. Because the more you have in there, you might as well not rinse your food at all. You might as well just dump all the bio load in your system if you're not going to do that. So, Again, every once in a while, if you see a drastic water temperature change... You see your fish is acting funny. I say start dosing garlic into your food and then stop. So that's why this little vial here will last you much longer than the bigger bottle that you can purchase from Big L's or any of your local fish stores. This vial here, it would last you forever. For me, it lasts me a good three, four months, five months. Whereas a bigger bottle, one cap in maybe 50 milligrams will not last you that long. So that's the benefits of having garlic in your system for your fishes and the disadvantages of obviously increasing the bio load so control what you have in the system guys. 
I hope you do like this video. If you have any more questions, do let me know. And for everybody else out there, if there are certain topics you guys want me to cover, let me know. I can definitely go ahead and do that. One person has recommended um, do a video on a water change. Um, fairly sy uh, simple system, but I will definitely do one in the next week or so when I do a water change in this tank. So far, everything's looking good. No complaints. Uh, Coraline Elegy, by the way, sorry. I had an outbreak of a little bit of green hair algae. It's been controlled now with a lot of bit of, a lot of a lot of water changing and el eliminating some of the lighting in the tank. But all my rocks are slowly slowly turning green. So I have a lot of green coralline algae that's growing everywhere. Now on top of that green coralline algae, I have a lot of bits and pieces of purple coralline algae. So the system has been doing very well. I've been happy with it. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, you know what? You might be able to see it. There's a little dot, a couple dots on that uh, rock. So it's a funny thing about us reef Aquarius. When we start seeing a little bit of purple, we go all crazy like a can uh, kid in the candy store. That's what it is for us. But anyways, enjoy the video. Garlic Extreme. I say buy the more concentrated uh, version of it. And you know what? Give me an update on what you use to entice your fish to eat. What supplements you use, how you do it, let me know. You can teach me and you can teach everybody else out there. Let's work together. And that's it for now, guys. Stay tuned for the next video.